everybody, welcome back to another episode of Swonderfully Vegan. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make vegan vegetable pot pies. Celebrate the autumn season with a hearty vegan vegetable pot pie. Freshly baked veggies encased in a buttery oat pie crust. Don't forget that Thanksgiving is just around the corner and this pot pie certainly makes for a mouth-watering dish. Okay everybody, let's do it. Place four and a half cups of oat flour and one cup of butter into a bowl and mix it with your hands until crumbs form. Then slowly add between three quarters to one cup of ice water and knead the mixture with your hands until a dough ball forms. Take your dough ball and cover it with plastic wrap and refrigerate for 30 minutes. In the meantime, let's prepare our veggie pie filling. Add your two tablespoons of butter to a pan and heat, stirring gently until the butter melts. Once melted, add the onions, garlic, cinnamon, nutmeg, salt, pepper, and any other spices that you desire. Cook that for about five to seven minutes, stirring occasionally. Add your mushrooms and cook those for about a couple of minutes, and now you're ready to add some water. Bring that to a boil and add the milk and flour. At this point, don't forget to add in any herbs that you might have. I'm using some fresh rosemary and stir. So all the vegetables that I'm using today are either pre-cooked or frozen. So once the milk and flour has thickened up, we're gonna add in our pre-cooked vegetables. That is our potatoes, sweet potatoes, and carrots. And now for our frozen vegetables, we're going to add in our frozen peas and green beans. Once your pie filling is ready, you're gonna remove the dough from the fridge. And now it's time to roll out our dough so that we can fill our little baking dishes with it. So once you've removed your dough from the refrigerator, you're going to use a rolling pin to roll out your dough and you're going to place it into your baking dishes where you're going to press the dough down into the bottom and sides of the baking dish. And don't worry if it cracks, you can just go ahead and fix it with your fingers and do a little patch job with your fingers. The reason why this dough cracks is because oatmeal flour is gluten-free. Once you've pressed the dough into the bottom and sides of your baking dish, you're going to go ahead and take your pie filling and fill each dish to the top. Once that's done, the only thing left to do is cover the top of the pie dishes with some dough. Don't forget to use your fingers to gently press down the dough and seal the sides of the pie. So you're going to make a couple of cuts in the center of the pie. So at this point, you're going to go ahead and take either some vegan butter or olive oil and just brush the top of the pies with it. And all that's left now is to place your baking dishes into the oven at 160 degrees Celsius for about 30 minutes. The buttery oat crust pairs up so well with the rosemary and cinnamon vegetable pie filling. Each vegetable you bite into gives you a slightly different flavor. Not only is this vegetable pot pie delicious, but it'll make your kitchen table look beautiful. Wow your guests on Thanksgiving Day. And what a better way than to give thanks by eating foods that are animal free. Why? Because we don't eat our friends. Thank you so much everybody for watching another episode of Swonderfully Vegan. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will check them as soon as possible. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching Swonderfully Vegan and we'll see you next time.